Hello everybody, I will present you my concept for the city of Amsterdam for the local motors competition in partnership with Shell Game Changer. In this video, I will explain my concept as a whole through three main parts. First, an analysis of the city of Amsterdam. Then, I will present the vehicle. And finally, I will explain its use and what it's changed for the city of Amsterdam. So, let's start. Firstly, in terms of mobility, Amsterdam looks like this. But it also looks like this, a city with a lot of bikes. So we can observe that Amsterdam, as many European cities, is subject to a major urban traffic. But we can also note that the bike is largely present as a mean of mobility and deeply rooted culturally. From this, my objectives for my vehicle would be to highlight the use of bicycles because it's a practical means of transport, economic and ecological, create a vehicle that can coexist with bike, and to create a vehicle that is a good alternative to the bicycle, that is to say to overcome the few shortcomings of the bike. So now, for the first part, I will focus on the city of Amsterdam. First, from a geographical point of view, we have the city center of Amsterdam. About the transport network, there is the airport, different stations, the main one being the central station, the different subway lines, and finally the tram network. So, even excluding the personal mobility, we realize that the city of Amsterdam is well served thanks to a dense network. Now, I will focus on the need of individual mobility. First, if we take the example of a single person, it will move depending on its activities. The same for a couple, and finally for a family. So, the diversity of profiles will give us the same variety of uses. In conclusion, my vehicle must adapting to the needs and use of different users, able to accommodate up to 4 passengers, and have an autonomy of 100 km because it will be only used in the city. I will now proceed to the second part about the vehicle. The concept of the vehicle is to relieve the city center to allow better circulation and better coexistence with the bikes. The goal is to create a pleasant town center and a good place to live. And this by creating a solution of unique vehicle to replace the cars, the motorbikes and bus. This has a further consequence of eliminating the emission of greenhouse gases and so in terms of mobility to have a totally ecological urban center. Here a brief example of this change before with a difficult and polluting traffic and after with an organized and environmentally friendly traffic. Regarding the vehicle, my idea is to have a single platform which integrates all the technologies on which we will be able to graph different modules and source obtain a range of vehicles in function of the needs and uses. Here is a brief overview of the different possibilities. A small vehicle for one or two passengers. A medium vehicle for two or four passengers. And we can also imagine other variants, for example, more sporty or utilitarian. Here is the platform of my vehicle. The entire frame is made from an aluminum honeycomb composite. It has the advantage of being very resistant and extremely lightweight. The frame includes 50 kg of battery for 100 km of autonomy and the entire management system. The battery uses the lithium phosphate technology 
they are as good as the lithium ion batteries, but they have a better useful life and are recyclable. For the rolling trains, the frame is equipped with a Michelin active wheel and Michelin wheel. And finally, the vehicle integrates at the front and rear a bi-wire system that allows communication from car to car for better traffic management. After that, we integrate the vehicle structure. Here I took for example the model for two passengers. And for each variant, we have a well-defined structure. And finally, the complete vehicle. The front perspective view of the vehicle. Then the rear perspective of the vehicle. The front and the back view. Note that the vehicle is only 1m40 in white. And finally the side view, the vehicle measuring 2m40 in length and 1m54 in height. Now another feature is that the vehicle is fully customizable. Indeed, the body panels are removable, allowing a creation of many combinations. You can change the front panel, the back panel, the door, the roof and also customize the colors. So, from this simple platform, we can create a full range of vehicles that can adapt to the needs of the users. And all the range works as shown above. A single platform, the structure of the model, and customized body panel. Now, I will spend to the last part. The use of this vehicle and how it changed the mobility for the city of Amsterdam. The idea to use the vehicle is that every person has a mobility pass it would permit to have some attractive conditions. The base being, for one kilometer by bike, you win one point. With a point, we can make a trip by metro or tram, or you can also do one kilometer with the vehicle, knowing that one point is equivalent to one euro. The conclusion is that we can take advantage of free services when using bicycles as a means of mobility. But this service can also be used for other applications, to purchase a vehicle or for leasing a vehicle. For example, a vehicle costs 5,000 euro. This is equivalent to either 5,000 points or 5,000 kilometers by bike. So, if you already have a lot of points, it's permitted to buy the vehicle cheaper. For the leasing solution, we can imagine a payment in 5 years, 1,000 points or 1,000 kilometers by bike, and by considering the use of bike every day, it's easy to make 1000 km a year. The purpose of the system is to promote the bicycle use and to benefit of services at lower cost. The aim is also to encourage an eco-citizen behavior and to responsibilize the user. Then, how does this vehicle change the mobility in Amsterdam? Because this vehicle replaces cars, motorbikes and buses, the new network now consists of bikes, vehicles, trams and metros. So the lanes are reorganized and there are now in addition of the bike lanes, one lane on the road reserved for cyclists. What gives us this? For large areas and for the small streets. This is possible because of the low size of the vehicle. Some examples to illustrate the vehicle in the city of Amsterdam. To conclude, I wanted to create an overall concept of mobility for the future in order to change habits and mindsets. And this by promoting the bicycle use, by creating an additional vehicle that is economical, ecological and practical for other aspects, and by integrating all within a system that empowers the user and which allowing him to be rewarded for his behavior. And Amsterdam is a perfect example for my concept because the bike is already very present culturally, but it's quite possible to use the same concept for many European cities. Thanks for your attention.